Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator with NeoFly. Uh, basically in this series I have purchased a helicopter and I also have a TBM 930 which I'm using as kind of a private plane but the idea is I've purchased a helicopter to start my own helicopter flight business outside of Calgary, Alberta that does VIP uh, transports and, and stuff like that and so search and rescue missions and uh, I'm a very inexperienced but rich, you know, pilot who's decided to take this on. So that's why I'm not that good at flying a helicopter. But yeah, so on this mission, we are going to be doing a search and rescue flight uh, somewhere by, I can't remember exactly where we were going. The search was somewhere, well, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be by Highway 1 South west of Cochrane, so from the Springbank Airport where we are, which is just west of Calgary, we'll do mostly mountain runs and stuff like that to go find down planes, stuff like that. In this situation, I think it is a down plane as well, so we have to follow a beacon in, find him, and then we'll always land and try and rescue him unless it's absolutely impossible. So we just have to get our weights right, which I think this ought to do it just like a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Dispatch. Mayday. 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 We have an urgent search and rescue mission. Rush to your plane. I'm a helicopter. But, uh, yeah, and it's also important to note that I'm going to be using a little bit of ATC. Uh, mostly, uh, I won't be broadcasting on it. I'll be using ATIS, and I will be listening to the uh, traffic frequency just to make sure I don't hit any AI traffic. And I have AI traffic. It's live weather. Um... I don't have real traffic because then we probably won't see anything at Springbank. But anyway, we got to get to this guy. So we need to follow our checklist that I kind of whipped up. Is, uh, we need our fuel on and our primer on. And then we can start spooling up our engines once we get our battery alternator and pitot heat. I read somewhere, I don't know if it applies to helicopters, but you don't turn on avionics until your engines are running. So that's what I'm going to do. So we got, we're going to spool up our engines. And while we're doing that, we can throw on our beacon lights, nav lights, and strobe lights, and landing lights as well. Also, I don't entirely know if this helicopter is designed to take off straight up or if you're supposed to kind of do that runway run but I'm gonna fly straight up because that's been working for me now so we're spooling up uh, now I'll throw on my avionics didn't seem to upset anything so avionics are on there's a little bit of wind so while we're doing that we have received the distress beacon signal. Head for the last known position. okay well that's good news so while that spools up, we're going to get our ATIS, which I hope I have set up. Oh, I definitely don't, but I'm also using uh, the flight to go app, which should give me my ATIS. If I don't get it right quick here, I'll just cheat. Uh, oh, flight plan go. Sorry, it's flight plan go. And it's fantastic. This is one of the best flight sim apps. I'm pretty well versed in flying planes, helicopters I'm not. So the ATIS is 127.9, so we'll throw that in there, 127.9, and we'll just transfer it right over. I'm really just looking for my barometer. Actually while we're doing that we'll turn off our primer, and our extra engine's on. Barometer. Three zero one seven. All right. Holy smokes! Scroll faster. Now ah, the person crashed. They're not going anywhere. Five six seven. And uh, another thing that our helicopter uh, company can do is to fly in medics to crash scenes as well. But I guess we're not medically trained to transport those victims back, so we just get the medics out there. And then. It's going to be probably the universal traffic frequency, whoops, which is, was it 122.9? Okay, that I'm cheating for. Yeah, 122.9. I should always trust myself. 
So, we'll stay on traffic there. All right, we're, 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 we've been spooled up for a while. So let's go into flight mode. Whoa, 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 why are we turning? Why are we turning? That's not good. We have a tilt going on here. That was weird. It's still kind of weird. That was weird. That's gotta be a controller issue? I don't know. But it stopped. Okay, what do we still got on here? Uh, oh, right. And we need to turn these off or on so that uh, our autopilot works. Which I don't think we'll need too much. Atrium and okay, everything else is good. Our landing lights are on. So let's get to rescuing. First and most important thing is that we know where we're going. So we'll turn on our Neopad. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm sure you should. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I'm like, where where am I? Okay, so that's Spring Bank, and we're like facing the right way. So I don't hear any traffic. I don't see any traffic. And bear in mind, I am new to the helicopter thing. So don't judge my takeoffs. Or do. It's fine. I'm pretty good at hovering. No, I'm not. Everything I'm saying is a lie. All right. Every second counts. counts. Alright, we're off. Something seems a little off. I wonder what that was that caused me to flip out like that, but it doesn't matter. Kind of have a little frame issue. So I got my graphics pretty set up. I don't have the greatest graphics card, and the recording software kind of messes with that as well, but I think we're doing okay. Alright, we don't want to get too high. Zoom up my Neopad here. Should be going too far. And the nice thing about uh, using Flight Plan Go is it'll give me elevation, and maybe I'll find a way to have that overlay. I know it looks like I'm hanging to the ground. That's just because I am. Let's see if it has an overlay, and it can't find me. So I don't know. Once I get that loaded, it'll be able to tell me, you know, cl uh, terrain height and the minimum vectoring altitude, which is super important if we get up to the mountains in there. I don't think this one's going to take us as far as the mountains. That's Highway 1 below us. That goes into uh, uh, Canmore and Banff and all that fun stuff. And we're really close already. And I didn't turn off my landing lights, but it doesn't matter because we're already here. So now we have to start doing some searching. Once we get close enough, we'll get that beacon sound. And once we get that beacon sound, we can kind of figure out where Buddy Boy is. The good news is, is this is before the mountains. So landing shouldn't be too much of a chore. This is the first real flight that I've kind of done. I think I got a million in the bank in Neofly, but I have a million in five loan. Because the helicopter cost me a whole bunch, and the TBM 930 cost me a whole bunch. The TBM 930 I'm going to use uh, kind of if I want to role play flying people up to Edmonton and stuff, or even flying over the mountains where the helicopter would take forever. Okay, I kind of assumed a little that we were closer than we were. The really cool thing about the NeoFly app is one, it's free. Although I do want to get the paid version so they, there's more vehicles at the accident scenes and stuff. But what's really cool that I didn't expect with this one is when I found they actually populate a crash plane. So I'm sitting there looking, listening, beeping, looking, be like maybe when it beeps really fast, it's supposed to land. And I look down, and I see a crash plane, and kind of that was kind of cool. So I think I've only done two of those. I've not crash landed yet. But now that I'm recording this, I probably will. But my plan for this uh, series will be making all the money and kind of expanding my fleet, buy some more helicopters, and uh, maybe hit, maybe move over closer to the mountains and stuff like that. But let's see, we gotta be getting pretty close. 
Let's see if we can't speed up here. I don't want to overthrottle the engines. I haven't had them explode or anything before, but I also don't want to find out if that happens. Getting pretty close. I'm trying to keep my height down too. I think the NeoFly app, and I don't want to. It's, it's also like I don't have the greatest graphics card, but it does seem to tank my frames too. I tested it with recording without NeoFly, and I was getting like 40, and now I'm getting like 19 to 20, but it's, it's not terrible. I hope it's watchable. Okay, we gotta be getting close here. See, by the water? Let's see. Let's zoom in just a little. Oh, no, it's over that lake. I think it's always a crash plane, but I've only been to two of them. And my landings have a lot to be desired. Leave a lot to be desired? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get some slowness down here. Because also... The, Use the beacon signal to locate any survivors. The beeping, it's not where the dot is, it's just that's kind of the area. And this is the one where I wish uh, VR, I have VR, but there is no way that it would run. <laughs> but uh, if I had track IR or anything, it would make it a lot easier to look around for this crash plane. Is that crash plane right there? No, that's a tree. It's beeping. Hopefully he's not in the trees. I was going to say it was easier finding him if he was... not in a mountainside or in a ravine, but... man, if he's in the trees, one, I'm not going to see him. And two, the heck am I going to land? Okay, let's just speed this up a bit. Sounds like it's getting faster. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of leave my Neopad kind of, when it gets loud, kind of right where, where I think the best search area is. It is beeping faster. Uh oh. I wish it would beep slower. There's, this is, this is foliage central here. Does that seem like it's getting slower? No, it's getting faster. Might be getting slower now, no? You see anything over there, Martha? You're not even looking. Well, help you are. I'm just happy to be for the flight. Seems to be getting faster still. Is it getting slower now? It might be getting slower. Let's uh, do a right hand search here. Let's see if it gets better. Seem to slow down. zoom in or else I'm gonna crash us. Oh wait, right in front of us? Oh, we are close. Is that him right there in the middle of the road? Yeah, I think that's him right there. No. These are right. Good job. Did anyone see him? <laughs> I can land there, but I would like to see... Oh, there he is. Right there. It's a little Cessna. A little tiny plane. 
but let's see if we can find a spot to land. I think I'll aim for that field right behind him. That's what I'll do. Alright. Let's see how well that works. And also, I don't know if I'm supposed to use my rudder for turns like this, but I do. And I haven't plummeted to my death yet. Is that it? No. It's right along the road. Right beyond there. Okay, there he is. Alright. There he is. Uh, now, landing is not my strong suit. Nice and easy, bring her down nice and easy. For those pilots who are actual pilots, I'm sorry you have to experience this. <laughs> okay, let's just stop talking for a sec. Introduce collective just a little. Oh, I'm gonna land right on him, but I don't know if there's trees under me. I don't know if there's trees under me. I wanna get to where I know there isn't. <laughs> I think is right there. More collective, more collective, more collective. This is a bad, bad landing. I don't know if there's trees in front of me, so I'm kind of scared. Let's just go a little farther ahead. There. Then I think we're good. Uh, close indeed. Okay, so we want to... We want to go back and open our doors. Oh, I mean... Uh, do that. And then we will throttle down our engines. Wait, did I turn them off? I think I I think I just throttled them down. Yeah. Whoa! I don't know what that was about. Alright. Oh, there he is right there. How close did I get to these trees? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, he had a bad day. But, uh, apparently he's, uh, he came out of it. He's gonna hop in the old, uh, helicopter. And while he's hopping in, let's set up the autopilot. Thank you, you so much. I didn't here. think I would make it out alive. Well, don't you worry. I eventually found you. And almost landed right on your head. Well done. You can land Go to Springbank. How about Springbank? The closest and only airport I know. We'll set that for Springbank, and uh, just in case we want to... Oh, I have to set the GPS already. I'm already ready for this. Okay. Alright, he's in, so we can close the doors. I guess I could open the luggage door if he had any luggage, but I think it's all in his upside-down plane over there. Alright, so we can... Spool up the engines. There we go. Let's turn on the uh, high NR. That uh, helps us take off real fast. Alright. And back to Springbank we go. And I'll turn off the landing lights this time. Alright. You know, when you're in a plane crash, the last thing you probably want to be is in another air vehicle, but. Oh, especially mine, too. <laughs> uh, he's regretting his choices already, I bet. Alright, uh, let's go that way. I had a high NR on, so there, there he goes. Okay, I got my... oh. <laughs> like, I got, I got my rudder all the way to the left. Why am I going left? But it's the wind, and I'm not actually going forward. There we go. And back to Springbank. Now, I have a hangar picked out for my hangar. It was at the end of the runway because it was safer, but now I want it right by the tower to help improve my landings because, uh, yeah, they're not exactly the best. All right, let's see if that'll hold. I could probably use autopilot, but now nah, I'll hand fly it. Why not? Landing lights off. I said I was going to turn it off. I did. And somewhere my FPS went somewhere. Slowly coming back. I'm gonna do a test after this to see if it is Neofly that, that causes it to drop so bad. Just fly the same route with it off. 
and see what happens. Because it used to be way back when I got Flight Simulator, my panels, which I run a whole bunch of them, uh, the plug-in would tank the FPS. So, I don't think that's the case this time, though. But we shall see. Okay, we'll just throttle back to... It's probably not good on the engine, running it that hot. And I'm probably not supposed to be going this fast either. I feel like I forgot to do something. I am on 122.9. Okay, I think I see the airport in a far distance there. Oh, wrong button. Wait. I don't have a button in my zoom. But I do see a flash. So I think I'm going to approach the runway and then try and hover my way in. And see how well that works. Springbank Airport's really cool because it's within like a 10 minute helicopter ride to the mountains. Like I think I made it to Banff, that wasn't too long, maybe 15, 20 minutes. I flew over my TBM in like no time, but it's very, uh, it's very quick in the, in the helicopter. There is an airstrip in Banff, Microsoft Flight Simulator I don't think has it in its uh, list of airports, so I can't program to it. And apparently it's an emergency use only, or an alternate field. It's not a full service airstrip, or else I would have moved there. The closest one else would have been in Vermeer in BC in the mountains. But I kind of like the idea of maybe going from the foothills here into the mountains. And uh, more mountain trips in the future will be fun too. The mountain trips are pretty cool. Uh, I might tweak with my graphics just to make it a little bit better, but it's not too bad right now. Because I used to play FSX, and it's way above FSX, so... The weather is a little suspect. I have it on live weather. And uh, it hasn't been so accurate. There has been times where I've looked on... Um, on the weather radar, the real one, and then I've kind of seen what I see on Microsoft Flight Simulator, but like, when I took off in Springbank, it said it was a thunderstorm, and it don't look like a thunderstorm to me. I know it's getting some sort of de it, uh, some sort of weather information because of uh, the fact that the altimeter is higher, but all right. I haven't heard anything at all on air traffic control, or on the center frequency, and I think I'm on it, 122.9, so I'm just going to assume that I'm clear to go in, and I'll just kind of come down the runway, use uh, poppy lights or bazzy lights, I can't remember which one they are, uh, once the frames per second decide to come back, and landing lights on start cutting down our speed, get my feet on the... What is going on? I think I'm going too fast. I don't think it likes it. Get my feet on the rudders. The rudders are super sensitive too. I've been messing with the sensitivity, but it's still like trying to keep a plane on the center line. Doing anything more than like 20 knots is, is tricky. I've almost gone off the runway a couple times. Okay, I'm going pretty fast here. And you know what's funny? Is this isn't where I want to be. <laughs> Mother, I'm on the wrong runway. So you know what I'll do. I don't know if you're supposed to do this around an airport, but I want to get to where I want to be. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to do this about an airport, but I do know that if I fly over runway, that's probably I'm going to get a phone call or someone's going to make me make a phone call. Where's the other runway? Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. So where's the tower? There's the tower. Okay, so I'm way off. I 
when I moved my my hangar, I forgot all about where it was. It's right by a parking structure. Okay, we need to get that neopad out of the way. Get out of here. Alright, where is that structure? Okay, I think that's it right there. There it is. Okay, let's do... Let's see if I can do this. This is the nerve-wracking part. Yeah, you might want to get off the runway there, buddy. <laughs> or the taxiway. I cannot guarantee what's going to happen. This reminds me of uh, that guy in Jurassic World, Simon Mizrani. He's rich and nuts, and he kind of got his helicopter's license, and I mean, I could see me easily flying into a giant aviary with this. Oh, buddy, why'd you have to park your truck right there? That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we need to keep, keep going forward. I wonder, if, do you call out taxiing like you normally would on a plane when you do this? Let's just get into the yellow square. I don't want to get too fancy. And technically, he's in my parking spot. So we'll just kind of park next to him. Alright, here. Here, here seems good. Here, I'm not bothering anyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bother me. Bother me. Hold on. See? This is what I'm talking about. Nice and simple. Nice. You know what? We can park on the grass a little. Or a lot. <laughs> oh, we're not parking on the grass at all. This is exactly what I meant to do. And let's just gentle touch down. Nice one. If necessary, <laughs> paramedics are waiting at the parking. Alright. Paramedics are waiting in the parking. Thanks again, They're... pilot. I owe you my life. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you've survived a near-death experience twice today. Okay, and all your doors are open. Oh, I guess I can probably throttle down. Actually, I could do one better. Let's shut them down completely. And, uh... Great work out there today. Oh, thank Another you. Another life has been saved thanks to you. Dang right. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll turn off the fuel. Alright. And, I don't know why, but we'll... This is a bit disable autopilot. If anyone knows why we do that, you let me know. Landing lights off, strobe nav beacon off. Pedo heat. And I'll turn off my alternator and battery. And yeah, that'll bring up that menu as well. So I guess I could just turn off avionics when I'm supposed to. But yeah, that's our first flight. We saved a life. I made, I think like $5,000. Let's see, I should make it so you can see my NeoFly sign as well. Or my NeoFly window. But that'll be, I'll see if I can make that happen next time. We made, that was Elbow Falls Provincial Recreation Area, if you were if you were curious about where we were. No, it wasn't. That's where I was before. It was just a search zone. You know where we were. $10,000. Made $10,000 because we re uh, not only found the guy, but we rescued him. So, yeah, $10,000. Not too shabby. Let's see how close we got to that other. Oh, look at that didn't run anybody over he's the heck out of here though but yeah and uh, maybe we'll work with a li uh, livery for uh, for the new uh, 135 this is an add-on it's free look it up it's uh, yeah helionics there oh. and it's the uh, h135 and it's fantastic it's super fun to fly I haven't crashed it once I've come super close to crashing into things but I haven't crashed it once and it's pretty user friendly and it seems to have good physics and it's a workhorse of my one horse fleet so but yeah thanks for joining me on that our next one might be a VIP I might go into Calgary or I might go into the mountains I'm not sure but uh, yeah stay tuned we'll see where I go in next time could be something completely different see ya